Welcome back guys to another video. Today we are going to run level 2 security missions. Some, someone asked for the ISK per hour and LP loyalty points. So let's check it out if it's worth it for the beginners. I know everyone runs level 4s but if you're, you are a new player maybe you're interested in level 2s. So, I've put together some chip fit caracal, which uses missiles. I know my my skills are a bit high, higher than average player, but I will show you the fit. I mostly use take one fit, so rapid lights are take one. Take one ammunition, as you can see, we have 264 DPS. The range is 60 kilometers and the targeting range is 70. So you guys, the beginners, should get at least 50. And the range of the missiles should have at least 40. Uh, I use Take One Warriors just for the heck of it since you're a new player. I only used Take-2 Multispectrum Shield Hardener. Feel free to change it into Take-1. And something else. You, sh I think you're going to get Power Grid over the limit. So you can of course upgrade one rig to the ancillary current router Take-2. Or something like that just play with the fit around I use the meta ballistics and that's it we have some ammunition with us and the mobile tractor unit but let's see let's take the mission I prepared the excel sheet LP and ISK so we will type in when we start so let's say it's now 15 okay this is the time right now we will this one is angel cartel we will take this one Uh, retrieve the cargo from the warehouse ok the next one is angel cartel the blockade, eliminate the leader accept the third one is pirate serpent is ok the site contains your character can get in, okay. We will take this with us. Three missions. Oh, um, about loyalty points, guys. Under the social security connections, I almost have level five. So this means that I I I received forty percent more loyalty points. Each level gives you ten percent. Okay, which one will we start first? So, no, not this one. Let's start with this one. One dock. I'm really curious about the fit. Warp to location. I haven't checked about the damage, but maybe we could use... Nah, it's fine. The thermal. Let's turn on the hardener. And just start targeting everything. 
let's throw out MTU. And just orbit at 5. Okay, first one is down. Oh, we should probably start attacking the stasis tower. Okay, let's start with two shotting. Okay, we are doing fine. This fit is cap stable. So don't worry guys. Just be careful on the drones. If they pull aggro, pull them back. Okay, after we kill this rat, we will reload. Let's see. Okay, we should switch to the explosive damage. Let's just drones do the damage. We will wait the rats to come to us. I suppose. Wait, what's the... Eliminate the leader. Okay, I'm not sure which one is that. But I think... He didn't spawn yet. <clears throat> if you don't have the DPS, just kill the stasis tower first so you can move faster. But like I said, this fit is cap stable with everything on, even with 10 m Okay, pull the drones in. Let's just start going towards this reds. Okay, let's start to shotting. Yep, maybe even one shot. We will see. Yeah, that works. So the range is 61. Okay, we should focus on the... Destroyers. Maybe two shots is enough. Fifty. Okay, let's try this one. Again, two shots to save a little bit on the ammo. And reload after that. The reload is a bit over 30 seconds. But it is fine. As you can see, I haven't turned on the single cycle on the shield repair. We could put drones out, but we are fine. As you can see, this, this is the first mission. Let's just approach the MTU to see if something good dropped. Two 
to shutting As you can see 200 dps is enough to take down destroyers with two shots we will see what about on the cruisers it's now five minutes in this mission but yeah it's kind of a cheap fit with everything take one but I think guys you should be fine Let's put drones out. Okay, we have another wave of rats. Rel reloading. We can loot everything because why not? Let's stack the missiles and let's just scoop the MTU and start approaching the rats. Oh, uh, guys, if you do the Min Matar missions, try killing the arch rats first because they do a bit higher damage kill at least two and then focus on the other ones or maybe if you have good range like me 60 kilometers try killing the rest of the rats first And if you get overwhelmed by them, just pull range, orbit something. And like I said, the fit is cap stable, so you should be fine. And just try to figure out how many shots each red require so you can save on the reload time these rapids are really slow so try saving the ammo as you can see I can two shot the destroyers The rest need a bit of a bit more, but yeah. Okay, that's what I was worried about about reload. Let's hope they don't aggro the drones. But yeah, as you can see, we are doing fine. One rep, shield full. As you can see, the drones are dealing so little damage against arch rats. You really need the missiles or take two drones. Okay, here we go. Let's just pull the drones. They don't even matter. Whoa, I didn't expect 
expect that many rats in level 2's but we will try and kill them all rats reload in the meantime well with this mission we should be better with 50 mn to, to move faster but yeah i'm not really sure about all the missions but i think you're still better off with caracal than vexor maybe i'm not sure Okay, let's just start shooting at them and then start closing to other group. Okay, reload, approach this. We are now 10 minutes in the mission. Okay, I will start shooting. Each NPC will receive two shots, just to be sure. Or maybe just one. Yeah. We will need to reload soon, but I think we should be fine. Okay, one NPC less. Time to reload. This is the only the only bad thing on the Caracal reload time on the rapids but the range on them is pretty nice and like I said we don't have problems with tanking so we should orbit something okay The shield, the shield is holding for now. We can do one rep. Here we go. I will go for the destroyers next to lower the DPS. When they come closer, and again reload. We should put drones on the normal frigates, not the arch ones. And repair. Okay, the drones are, de are dealing some damage to normal rats. This is good. One more repair. But 
This this is quite long time for a level two mission. But yeah, it's character. We did get some bounties right now. Should I? Yeah, I will maybe put the bounties on the Excel file as well. Okay, last NPC. We will see what will spawn next, if anything. But there's a lot of rests, as you can see. And only level 2 mission. Okay, reload again. Explosive resists are the lowest. The mission objective has been achieved. Okay, we can reload. Oh, let's see. Okay, this one is finished. Let's go to the next mission. Warp to location. I won't loot because objectives are only to destroy the pirates. So yeah, I will add another bounty on the Excel. I will show you later. Okay, oh, there's a gate. Let's go through it. I wonder what's inside. So, the fall. Head out and bring me their heads on a plate. Spare no one. Okay, so we have to kill everyone. The resists, uh, kin I should use kinetic, but before I do that, I will shoot them first. Okay, they are sensor dampering us. But we are fine. There's another gate, so I guess we need to get closer, start moving towards the gate.
I will reload into Scourge the kinetic type of damage. So we spent almost 20 minutes on one mission. I do hope that we can do under one hour three missions. But we need to kill everyone here, so we can't skip. Mission is saying that spare no one. You can of course loot, but you are losing time in disk. Come on, kill it before the reload. Oh my god, that's nice. Let's warp through gate. So yeah, guys, as you can see, 260 DPS is more than enough for level 2 missions. But I just wanted to show you. the fit and how to run it oh, there's a lot of npc spawning but i will just start with the frigates Oh, these are the Corelli Guardians, so they need a lot of damage. They won't go down with two shots, like the normal rats. Okay, just the time for reload. Should we try and kill them with drones? Let's try. Let's start moving. Okay, to shutting the destroyers, now cruiser. Let's see if we hit at almost 60, okay we did.
Corelli Spy. Okay, time for another reload. Okay, let's go. Start shooting them. I think these are the last reds. I hope so. Come on. Wait, is this it? Okay, this mission is finished. Let's go to the last one. Jump through the gate. Okay, so this mission took seven minutes. Retrieve the cargo from the warehouse. Okay, so we need to kill the warehouse, I think. But we will see. Crates of silicate. Okay. Let's turn on the shield hardener. These are the resists on the shield right now. The EM is a bit low, but as you can see, we are fine. Okay, let's go towards the warehouse. I will just target it. It's 30, 35 kilometers out. Missiles are reloaded, so I'm not sure. I think the rats will spawn when I approach the warehouse. But let's see if, if I can steal the cargo before they spawn. Because retrieve the cargo. It's saying only that. Okay. Let's try and open it up. Yep. Warp to the side. Okay, we are finished. This mission took us one minute. Set destination. Okay, let's jump through the system and see what the rewards the rewards are. I think even if we wait on the 
bounty is kit won't matter maybe half a million or one million more it doesn't really matter that much okay let's dock up It looks so good, so good, warping. But yeah, let, let us finish the mission. I will type in the LP we get. Okay, so the first mission, 244 loyalty points 244 and the ISK it's 200 and 230 okay complete the next one is 876 LP the reward is 889 complete and the last one five three four and the isk I think this is it complete okay the time is now 1608 okay let me show you the excel what I did so as you can see this tree gave us this plus this plus this we got 1654 LP the ISK is this plus this plus this okay 1.6 million and we spent 35 minutes right is it yeah 35 minutes and the bounty let's see the bounty Mission reward, no, oh, we didn't get all of them, but let's say 800,000, so we got two and a half million in ISK and 1600 LP in 35 minutes so guys you decide if it's worth it I'm not sure 
but that that's it in half an hour on on three missions level two missions but like i said this is just the basic take one fit for the beginners and i think it's not that bad let me know what you think and loyalty points freedom extension what can you buy you can buy some beginners implants for warp drive oh for scanning and the next ones are the ammunition but let's see This is what you can get for a lot of LP, but for some of them you need tags. Well, for a lot of them you need tags or take one frigate and a chip. But yeah, some implants are really nice just look into it guys this is a basic fit caracal fit i will show you again and before that let's see 35 minutes we got two and a half million let's say two and a half and 1700 lp from three missions and yeah that that's about it the feed is like this as you can see with my skills we have 264 dps and if we used Kaldari navy ammunition we get around 20 to 30 dps more but the range is the same so yeah this is the fit again if you guys want to try it out but yeah I mean it's funny for me because the ISK is so low I get more by killing rats in low sec. A single battleship is half a million, but yeah, you don't get the LP. But, and you have to start with level 1 and 2 to get to the higher ones. So that's it on this video, guys. Fly safe and have fun. Bye.